I'm chasing the four sirens who swindled mostly wealthy Wall Street types by drugging them and racking up hundreds of thousands of dollars on their credit cards. They got busted. Three of the four women have pleaded guilty, and one of them is expected to take a deal. So I chased this to New York, to New York Magazine on Varick Street, and spoke to Jessica Pressler. She actually spent some time with these four women. I think that working in a strip club, you kind of get like a, a Tina Turner song view of men where they all look the same to you and they look like wallets. And it was kind of easy to see how they went down this slippery slope. So she told me about these four women. So Samantha. Samantha. Ringleader? Uh, she was named the ringleader in the indictment, yes. That she had a lot of experience in the strip world. She was always one of the top girls at the clubs that she worked at. Um, she did get older, and being a dancer, you know, it, it, you have to stop at some point. We spoke about Karina. Karina is a little bit of a drifter, um, nice girl, worked in retail, um, very pretty. Marcy, she said, came to stripping through her boyfriend. She was kind of pushed into being a dancer by her boyfriend, who everybody calls the pimp. Um, for whatever reason. And the fourth woman we spoke about was Rosalind. She said that Rosalind was a stripper, but then she had a baby. She is very funny, very like kind of wise, tough, street smart girl. Uh, I asked her, do the women feel any remorse now that they are, they've actually been caught? And she said that no, they were really angry that they got arrested. They felt that it was unfair because they felt that the men that they were swindling from, they could afford to lose $10,000, $20,000. It wasn't a big deal to them. They don't understand why their lives had to be ruined because of it. Does, does Jessica have some kind of an anti-male bitterness? Because it sounds like she she put these women up like they were some kind of a you know a storybook heroes. You read the article. You, I didn't read the article, but the right. headline was Robin Hood. So the way it right. sounds the way you're presenting it is that she put them up as like telling their story as if there's some credibility to it. Well, actually, Jessica had a very balanced gray perspective. Yeah. I know you're trying to get a black and white answer. Yeah, there is no black and white. The women, when they were taking advantage of these men, they felt like these men were treating them like trash. So they felt entitled. But at the same time, obviously, what they were doing is illegal. What it sounds like to me is there is a case of justifying criminal behavior based on who the victim is. You know, sometimes men behave poorly in strip clubs, but these women can't take the law into their own hands. They have to go to the bouncers. They have to go to management. People get kicked out and they're not welcome back ever again. You know, you can't just go and drug them for God. And one of their managers actually worked with them and has also been charged with this.